in <laughs> rightly or wrong, well, um, me, whether he meant it or whether he did not mean it, whether it was accidental or whether it was actually deliberate, he has been involved in what I think and what I'm sure you think are uh, quite despicable activities. And yet he's still, he's still there on the television. He's still rolled out every time. There's more that I could tell you, actually. Uh, I would suggest all of you go to the Peter Tatchell Foundation website and you'll have an eye-opener when you look at the interview with Gript. Uh, because he really reveals himself for what he is. So why are we accepting his word over parents' word? Is how to choke your partner safely during sex. This is absolutely, you can die from that, mind, asphyxiation, thousands of people die from it every year. Yet they're teaching children to go away and have a look at different types of pornography. Now, for the individual, obviously, this can become, and as many, you know, you, not everybody who watches pornography is going to become addicted to it. However, pornography can be an addiction, and when it is an addiction, it is, well, it's negative whether you're addicted or not. If you're consuming it, it's negative. But if it becomes an addiction, that is when the, the, it really, really does become an issue. So it acts as the same, and, you know, I'm sure many people here have taken drugs of some kind, and, you know, in your youth or whatever. Yeah, for, for, so the children, our children can raise, you know, strong families, but that's that's not what's happening. This type of education is is not increasing uh, 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 families, uh, uh, the, the 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 strength of uh, within a, uh, a committed relationship, uh, and and the longevity in in these relationships. The, 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 the local authority was against these parents. Uh, the uh, education department was against these parents. The, um, uh, the, the student, the, the teacher union, teaching unions were against the parents. And Ofsted was also against the parents. And this was all politically uh, um, motivated. Uh, you know, the, the, the main parties, uh, in Birmingham we have, uh, and, and, and that is what we're fighting against. Um, and, and, you know, we I know um, the king from, uh, from PCP Wales, they, they have, uh, they're also going to court to try and push this legislation back in Wales. Uh, so the, the way we're really fighting, fighting now, and often what happens, and, and this is what happened in the Birmingham schools, is that you get one ideologically driven uh, a teacher, like Andrew Method, who so we had in Birmingham. Uh, uh, and he, he then pushes the agenda, saying that it's about equality, uh, and, and, he, and he literally frightens the, the school leadership with the council in, into believing that if, 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 if uh, they, they don't uh, uh, support his agenda, that there will be a, a, a political outcry. And, and it's, this is what we've got to fight. We've got, we, we've got to stop being... So just because they say in something safeguards, you're going to take that? You're going to blindly trust? You blindly trust and you fail your child. You blindly trust no one. And you certainly do not blindly trust the institution. The UK is famous for one thing. The sexual abuse and rape of our children in care homes, schools, religious establishments, sports groups, and nothing happens. Where are the convictions? An independent inquiry into child sex abuse, a report was published two years ago, a seven year long study into our schools. That report claims sex abuse in our schools is, and I quote, an open secret. With over 43% of children who are being abused, they are aware of it happening to other children in your kids' schools. Leaders go price. Leaders will negotiate. You stand on your own two feet. You stand on your ground. And then things will change. Nobody can negotiate on your part. You're standing your ground. You're fighting your f In every place and following Wales' example. And then we might have a decent place there. Yes. And 
last test then. years old and still cannot do basic math. And we are plunging millions of pounds into this education. And yet children are just, they're left on their own when they're leaving school. Children who are in care are left on their own as soon as they're turning of age. And this is a huge, huge problem. We've got children with learning difficulties of all sorts in mainstream schools. Um, children who have got um, ASD, Autistic Spectrum Disorders, children again who have been diagnosed with ADHD and as somebody who has ADHD I feel quite strongly on this again when we're expected these children who we know are having great difficulty sitting still. I just want to, for, for those, a learning disability is somebody who has an IQ under 70. So they can have autism, they can have a range of different, dis but their IQ will be under 70. A learning difficulty is then somebody who would be high functioning ASD, ADHD, dyspraxia, dyslexia, because they can still have an IQ over 70. So this is, for, this is a class that I am in with children who have got an IQ under 70. This lesson was about diseases, um, the kind of diseases you can get from relationships. I'm sure you all know what I am talking about. This is showing adults how to easily and openly engage in conversations with children as they should not be engaging in. We should not be celebrating sexuality in primary school. We shouldn't be having sex. We wouldn't be going to class. We shouldn't be joking with the girl. Which one of these boys are you going to marry? The clincher boyfriend? We shouldn't, be, we shouldn't be doing that around a heterosexual relationship with a child. Why are we trying to... Those people are politically aware and they're a very good barometer. 80, 90 percent of those know exactly what's going on. What's the sad thing is, is, is that the elected members in that house that could actually do something about it uh, enjoy uh, anal and oral sex. I think it's far too young, far inappropriate. And I don't think any reasonable-minded adult uh, would disagree with me, but the elected members of the House of Commons apparently do. And the worrying thing is that this is not just happening in our country, it's happening across the developed world. Most of it's being pushed by so-called charities. It's certainly being pushed by the United Nations and the WHO. Fine for the three R's for reading, writing and arithmetic. Can I suggest to you that there is a much more important R that needs to be put into that equation and it is this that we need to have respect in our education system. First of all, we need to have respect for the innocence of children. Let kids be kids. Yeah.